Hello you beautiful people, Aaron here, and welcome back to another video. With Yaimiko's release just around the corner, everyone has been talking about how to build her, how to run her, and what she's going to be great with, etc, etc, etc. I have seen theories, guides, builds, intimidating math charts, among other things. And basically, elemental mastery is pretty poo on Yaimiko. The damage just does not add up, and it's just not worth it when compared to more crit, attack and energy recharge for her burst. These are facts. These are numbers. This is literal written documented information here. I'm not going to dispute that else I'd be no better than a freaking flat earther. But I believe there is a situation here that has been repeated countless times before. The most notable example being Kazuha where certain facts were not documented, turning him from mediocre and just a 5 star sucrose to being the best and most versatile support in the game. But before we talk about that, I would like to ask you that if you do like the video or want to support me in my content, then please hit the like button down below and hit that subscribe button as well. Maybe that bell too. Looks pretty cute, don't it? Okay, so back to this mess of a video. We got Yaimiko here. At this point, I'm gonna assume you know what she does. You know, off-field electro damage and application plus huge burst damage. She is absolutely freaking insane. Her scalings are absurd and she's gonna smack harder than my mama does. Like she's nutty, she's just nutty. But because of her ascension talent granting her skill bonus damage based on elemental mastery, there is some debate on whether you want to build her with elemental mastery or attack percent. This conversation has died down a decent amount because it's basically been proven that the raw values of her damage is just so much better with attack than elemental mastery. This is due to the conversion not being amazing and because similarly to Eula, about half of her damage comes from her burst. So more attack and other bonus damage like electro bonus damage and crit are just better. You can't beat it. However, there is one situation where building elemental mastery on her could be better. We all know her team comps right now. She works amazing in mono electro teams with Raiden and Sarah. She works as an off-field DPS for physical teams as well to apply superconduct pretty reliably too. And she can also be placed into a taser team comp with Kokomi and Tartag as well. Now the great thing about this final comp is how Electrocharged works. Now the reason why she is so amazing in an Electrocharged team comp like this is specifically because of how Electrocharge works. Electrocharge has decent scaling with only elemental mastery, and its damage, not the application, spreads to other sources if they are afflicted with Hydro, where it will periodically deal tick damage to the targets. Electrocharge also ignores defenses, but not resistances. The reason why I bring this up is because only Electro character's elemental mastery is taken into account with Superconduct. Meaning, elemental mastery is not only buffing Yaimiko's skills damage, but also Electrocharge's damage at the same time. Since Electrocharged cannot crit, this means that when doing this, you do not need to put as much into building crit for your Yaimiko. The damage from this won't be terrible either and will be decently powerful in the right situations. But is it going to be better than attack percent? Short answer, not at all. Even though the difference between an electrocharged tick at low elemental mastery versus a high elemental mastery is huge at about 6k damage per second, give or take, and the bonus damage for her skill is going to make it scale absurdly hard, the fact of the matter is that her burst is still a vast majority of her own damage. So when building elemental mastery, you are not taking half of her damage into account. This build shifts her damage in a different direction. That might be better, but it will take a lot of testing to find out. It is also a lot more niche than just building attack percent, as it will help you either the same amount or better, but in more situations. Hell, even if attack percent was just worse on her in this situation, it would still be better to run attack percent on her because she won't benefit from the elemental mastery buffs in as many situations as she would with attack percent. However, the potential off-field damage that Yaimiko's skill will deal might just make this a really powerful build for her. However, we don't know this yet. We can make assumptions and do some math to get something more accurate, but in the end, it's still going to be a lot of estimations. However, I am going to test this out myself to see which one is better in an electrocharged team comp. 
If you do want to see what I find in my test, then please subscribe to my channel and ring that cute little bell if you haven't already. Also, if you did enjoy this video, please smash that like button down below, and while you're down there, why not comment your thoughts about Yai in the comments down below. Otherwise, I hope to see you all in the next video. Bye bye!